Hello YouTube friends and family, it's Vanessa and I'm here today to share a new love with you. Um, this is a bag that I have been wanting for quite a while, been hunting for, and there are quite a few out there if you're really, really interested in them, but I was looking to get mine at for a steal, so I had to uh, wait until I seen it go on sale at the outlets, and when they had a 70 plus 25% off sale is when I went for it. I just love this bag. Normally, I carry a different bag every day to match what I'm wearing. Um, I love this bag so much. The style of it, the size, just all the character that it has with the rivets, with the quilting, the colors, just everything about it. Um, has feet, but you all see that. You can see all the quilting on the bottom and um, it's a very smooth glove tanned leather here and here on the sides here. It's called the color block um, quilted color block double swagger with rivets I think is the full name of it and so I'm pretty sure you're if you've watched my previous vi video you're familiar with the uh, setup of this bag because now my first double swagger which is here has a friend, has a sister. So yes, I love this style of bag. I love the size of it. It's just one that I really like. So I was happy to get another. Um, I don't have much in this one. I've carried it three days in a row. That's what I was leading to say to you is that I normally change my bag every day, but I love this bag so much. I, I, um, I've worn it three days in a row. Um, so I've just got a small wallet in there. Let me show you what it looks like on the inside with my stuff in it. And I don't, like I said, have much in there. And you can see how much room there is. I've got a cosmetics bag, another little uh, pouch with my comb and brush in it and my wallet. So there's not much in there. It's a little pouch that has my comb and brush. Got my makeup bag and my wallet. So that is it. Oh, and keys. And piece of candy. Um, so there is the inside. Huge cavernous inside. Lined in leather. Ox blood in color inside. I hope all of you can see that really well. This is just a receipt and a little tag that was on it. Like I said, I ordered it from the outlet. Style number 25490 if anyone is looking for it. Um, it's got a little snap pocket there. There are, unfortunately, no other pockets on the inside of this cavernous bag. So you really have to be good about using pouches to organize your stuff inside the bag or else your stuff is going to be all over because it is so big. It does although have a pocket on the front. Even though there's none on the uh, inside, there's a little magnetic um, closure right there. And so it does have a nice, deep, deep pocket right there. Also lined in leather on this side and some type of canvassy material that's on this side that um, you will probably notice in other 1941 collection bags. Um, quite a few of them that I have have that canvas type of material on the inside. So not very many pockets, but... Like I said, you'll have to use lots of um, pouches and things like that to organize your things inside the bag. It's got the little zipper hangy thing there that I keep tucked in. And I'm going to zipper the top so you can see. I don't know what this color is called at the top. Mm, I should have researched that, the color of this leather here. But the leather is just so scrumptious on this bag. It is so soft. It is so nice. 
Here's the back with more quilting and rivets. And then the little story patch or whatever you want to call it. And the style number. And then it has the uh, typical swagger um, closure, which is just for aesthetics. These things are here just for aesthetics. They don't really serve a purpose. They come, uh, they twist here and this can come off, but as you can see, it's sewn on in place here. So it doesn't really come off. It's just for the look. And I love the look of it. There's the little 1941 hang tag. And it's got a couple of C's with some more rivets there, making a little dangly noise. I just like the way it's made. I love the way it's put together. Really, really love this bag. Oh, and the shoulder strap on it, it does extend. Let me take these things back out so I can show you how the shoulder strap, you see how it appears doubled? That's because it does extend. Um, I had a hard time figuring this out with my first double swagger. Um, you do something like, oh, there's these little things you got to pull out of the hole first, Vanessa. And they're on both ends. There it is on that side. And then it slides. like that. So then you could make it, well, it doesn't really supposed to go over that far, but if you really, really wanted it to be that long to make it a better crossbody for you, you know, if you're someone who's big like me, you're going to need it to be extended longer. Um, but it's really supposed to stop in these extra holes here. See that? Here's the extra hole on this side. If I can get it in there. Can't get it in there. Oh, there it goes. So then you can extend the shoulder strap. To make it a long shoulder bag or a crossbody bag if that actually makes it long enough for you. I don't think I would wear this as crossbody because of how big it is, but definitely love this bag. I'm very happy to have it in my collection. I'll stand up so you can see what it looks like on me. I hope that I'm going to be in frame here. Move my chair over. There we go. Can you see it there? I love it. It's just, I love it. I love pink, love this bag, love the style, love the color, love the way they just set it up. It's just great. I don't know what else to tell you all about it. Um, yeah, I think that's really it. Just really wanted to share that with you. If there's any questions, please let me know. I'd love to answer them because I love this bag and I'd be happy to talk about it with you. Thanks for watching. Bye.